Pisces friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be your mid-month love reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, July 15th to the 30th. I am using Beautiful Creatures Tarot deck. I'm also going to be pulling you a Romance Angels card and also shapeshifters you guys have seen me use this deck before but they go absolutely amazing with this deck i just realized that like this week beautiful deck though pisces so it's not going to be the same as your regular love monthly this is going to be like we did last time for the mid-month, last two times. You know, how do they feel about you? So it is a question spread. I do not cut for question spreads. If you follow me on Facebook, you know, the card's got to pop for me. So, first question for Pisces. What is the energy between the two of you? What is the energy between Pisces and their person? What does Pisces want from the relationship? What does Pisces want from the relationship? Very nice. Your cards are just coming right out. I love when that happens. What did they want from the relationship? What does Pisces person want from the relationship? Shall I flip? Okay, my card's flipped up. I'm going to take it. It actually is the fool, and it flew like all the way over by the mirror. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Um. What does Pisces need from the relationship spirit? What does Pisces need from the relationship? What do they need? Pisces person. What does Pisces person need from the relationship? Does Pisces see them? What do they see, Pisces? What do they see, Pisces? Beautiful. You guys are my sixth sign. This has been out four times. And it's because we're in the sign of cancer. This is amazing between you guys. Sign of cancer. But I feel like the energy. This came up in this same position for cancer. Now I tell you guys this. In case you have cancer in your chart, you're dealing with a cancer. It just came out for Aries up here. It came out for Virgo. And Gemini. The only person ones it did not come out for is Pisces. Or Taurus. Like I'm amazed at how many times that we I've seen this card. And I still have seven more to go I mean this is amazing being the energy between you guys I do feel like it's you guys are moving forward now in the sign of cancer maybe you're traveling for some of you victory and success it's progress it's progress through determination 
And guys, I also got to tell you, there's a lot of travel here. A real lot. The Chariot, the Sun, the Six of Swords. Even the Fool, you could be going on a journey. Some of you are definitely traveling. So Pisces, what you want from the relationship is a transition with the Six of Swords. You want to move from shitty times to much more calmer, peaceful times. Like I said, some of you definitely, definitely, it could be traveling or or maybe even moving. Maybe someone is traveling to get to you, Pisces, or you, them. Like someone wants to travel to see the other person. And what they want from the relationship is a new beginning. Aries, Taurus here. It's also about going on a journey. And like I said, I do get the feeling that someone wants to travel to see the other person. But that's coming through very strong here. Is There is a strong will to, to travel to see someone or them, you. It's about... New beginnings, you know, taking a risk, a leap of faith on this new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith with, with you, Pisces. Somebody does. So, okay, you have Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn, Leo and some air, but eh. I just feel with this devil card that there's a need to be impulsive, compulsive about something. Taking control, uh, being in control, like so obsessed that it controls your life with the need to do this. Some of you are feeling the need to control this. And I honestly feel like this could be an unhealthy thing for a small number of you. My sees, give me one second. It is so hot in here. I am so sorry. I try to keep the air low so you guys can't hear it because I do have a very sensitive microphone but I'm just like dying right now um, I just don't feel like for all of you this is healthy but for others of you there is this this impulsiveness I mean it, it might not it might not be so bad there is definitely victory in it, no matter how you spin it. What they need from the relationship is good news, excitement, a new beginning, starting down a new path with you. And you see them as the sun, happiness, contentment, you see success with them. And a lot of travel here. And they see you making plans, looking out to the future. They, they definitely see you as a partner. Some of you are making plans with this person. Travel is absolutely in the cards for you guys. I really feel like Definitely, one of you is traveling to go see the other, or there's a very strong need over the next two weeks for you to do this. It's like you guys really need to connect. You need to see each other. 
and it kind of feels what's at the bottom for shits and giggles. I hope none of the other signs get mad. The Four of Swords, you're going. This is also taking a break. See how she's all dressed in blue here, too? Blue is a communication. You want communication. Yeah, you've been you've been patient long enough. You're ready to go. What what's be the next card? Three of Swords. Maybe in the past things were delayed. It does say disappointment. This is in love too. There's there was disappointment. Maybe at one things were delayed. You couldn't do this. Maybe you didn't have the cash flow. Not that I see that here, but now's the time. Go for it. definitely thinking about it. I think you're going to do it though. Let's get you a Romance Angels card. I like it a lot though. What would the next card have been? Queen of Wands. You guys are definitely feeling fiery, passionate, determined. You're in, in, in control. You guys want this what they do. I know this isn't going to resonate with every single one of you. So please watch your other signs. But even if it, you know, whatever it is that you're moving toward, you're doing it now. Whatever it is. New love. Reigniting the passion in your current relationship. There's... Okay. I was focused on you guys while I was talking. Is, there's definitely... Excitement here. Um, this is the Shapeshifters. And this is the most positive and optimistic card in the entire deck. And if you are traveling somewhere, it's far, it's warm, it's sunny... I just really like it. Pisces. It feels very exciting to me. Alright, Pisces. A couple cards fell out, but that's the only one that's flipped over, and wow. Oh my god. Well, there's my proof of reconciliation. Okay, beautiful. Love when that shit happens. So, some of you are definitely going to be reconciling with someone. I just feel like someone is really desperate to see someone. You know, sometimes the chariot could be the, mil the military. Not that I really see it in this card, but it's almost like somebody's coming home. Maybe they were supposed to come home maybe seven weeks ago, seven months ago, and it didn't happen, and now it is. And there's this is amazing. This is just amazing. Complete the mermaid of impression. Complete commitment. You're not gonna hold yourself back anymore from making this commitment, making this decision. This change is the road to like rebirth, new beginnings. Like, and you're gonna, uh, like, uh, this change is like, you're, you're gonna finally be fully alive to be your true self. You know, if you've been procrastinating, making excuses for holdups, you know, reasonings not to go ahead, 
that's it in the past. You're doing it now. You're going for it now. You're going for them now. You're going to see them now. You're doing something now, Pisces. It's really great. It really is. And it's it really, it's a journey. You're starting over down a new path. Definitely exciting. I think you're very fixated on it with the devil. I really do. Maybe a little too much for some of you. But your clarifying card is telling you, your oracle card is telling you to go for it. And the time is right. Great. It's beautiful. All right, guys. Absolutely love it. If you follow me on Facebook, I'll see you Monday. I'll see you Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I will see you guys back here very soon for, for your um, bi-weekly reading. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.